this is it. This is Sangamon Outdoors, and I've never done four videos in one night, but tonight I'm doing it. So uh, get out of my way and stand back and get ready for Mystery Tackle Box Unboxing February 2020 right now. And here we go. Right away we got our dibble. Dibble. Always start with your dibble. I always flip to the inside and see what we're looking at. The Nano Jig, Z Man, Shiver Cranks, Jerk Baits, Crossword Puzzle, Word Find. Always good stuff in the dibble. But it's not enough, just the dibble. The dibble is just a nice extra. So, what does our February Mystery Tackle Box have? Right off the bait. Sorry, right off the bat, the Bass Box has Carl's Amazing Baits Shiver Crank. To me, this looks like a shad wrap. A shad wrap that is $6.99. Um, I love Mr. Tackle Box. And I love Shop Carl's, but I'm going to guess that this is a mystery as to why this is six dollars and ninety nine cents one good rattle it has definitely got great hooks to it and that rattle is deep and I'm gonna say that this thing runs deep what do they say it runs they say this is the silver crank 2.25 3 tenths ounce silver it doesn't really say how deep it runs, but I'm going to guess this is a six, seven, eight feet deep bait. I can see this catching pike. I can see it catching largemouth bass. It might even catch a walleye. Uh, I've got two tackle boxes that are just all shad-like baits of that nature. And that's where this one's going to go. And... Uh, I think $6.99 is overpriced, but I'm also only paying $16, $17 for um, <clears throat> the entire box, so we'll see. Oh, we have a sticker. It is a large fish wearing a football helmet, which, I'm sorry, I do enjoy getting the stickers and putting them all over my boxes. Uh... Next, I have the Z-Man 10 times tough e Ela Z Tech HDR Hog Z. Okay, the Hog Z to me looks like, at first glance, it looks like a crayfish bait, but at second bait, uh, second glance, it's more of a creature bait. To me, this goes on the back of a jig could be a trailer but I'm gonna say most likely uh, jig drop shot that type of thing um, durable buoyant non-toxic this is the black and blue three inch and that is the six pack and it works with uh, specialized in a Ned rig and I, I'm kind of addicted to a Ned rig right now uh, next up we have the Molex Nano Jig. Now, I definitely just saw, I believe it was uh, one of my favorites, Lake Fork Guy, do uh, a little thing on the the, uh, the Nano Jig. Uh, he even went through here and named three of his buddies, guys that he knows and fishes with. The Nano Jig. Uh, my understanding of the word nano means that it's micro, small, tiny. And in the world of largemouth bass jigs, this nano has got a fairly heavy head, a blue, purple, black skirt, got a weed guard, but it is tiny. This is the size of a crop ear bluegill jig. So uh, I'm thinking that these two together would be a nice presentation. So we'll see how the nano jig works. I'm not a huge jig guy as far as a jig and pig for bass. 
but uh, I am a jig guy for crappie and bluegill and walleye, so we'll see how I can combine those things. Uh, two last things here. We have the Penetration Hook E hooks with a keeper. So these are hooks that I'm going to guess will fit both the HDR Hog Z from uh, Z-Man and the final thing that we have here. Uh, most of your Mystery Tackle Box hook sets will come in sets of three like this did. It's got the wide gap, it's got a offset, it's got a keeper on there to keep baits on the hook. And then it's got a nice big tie, and the eye is big. So we got three hooks here. These are the five baits to go. Five inch stick bait, three aught model E, show us your catch. So I, I'm comfortable with that. I love the way the Googans and the other pros that are com, you know, compiling these boxes put the baits together. Our final bait is the Excite Baits Under Shad. So this is um, a five pack of baits. These are uh, in the Quicksilver. They've got the hook notch on the top. They got a nice little head. So this is something that's like a fluke. It's like a dead stick. It's like a trailer. I've seen where guys put these on their their uh, chatter baits. Where there's a lot of options with this. This could be Ned Rig. This could be Drop Shot. And there's so many things. And of course they could just be fished with the uh, stick bait sticks. So uh, all in all, I think this is a good box. Am I going to say it's a great box? Probably not. Do I think this bait's probably overpriced? Probably. Um, but you know what? It's a mystery tackle box. I, I didn't pay a ton for this. All our boxes give us nice returns. So uh, you get a box, you get excited about what's happening. Y you The intensity of, hey, it's like Christmas, you're getting gifts in the mail. You open your box. You see the value of it. I, I don't know how you can go wrong. So I'm excited about Mystery Tackle Box. I'm excited about Ketchco, Shop Carl's, 10,000 baits. I, everything they do I think is good. Um, I'm going to wrap up this evening because I've been down here doing these things. And uh, I am going to make every effort to do one or two videos a week and not have to power through and do four in one night like this because it kind of wears on me but it's my own fault for being a slacker so here we go Sangamon out <laughs>